Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson for you is on the Pythagorean Theorem and distance in the coordinate plane. Our objectives today are that you will use the Pythagorean Theorem to find distances in the coordinate plane. And the question I want you thinking about today is how can you use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the distance between two points in the coordinate plane? So we have a coordinate plane here, and I want to remind you that it is formed by horizontal and vertical lines. And any horizontal and vertical line intersect each other at right angles. So it becomes perfect for us to apply the Pythagorean theorem to a diagonal segment. So we can form a right triangle, and then we can find the length of this diagonal. So you can't just add and, and pretend that you know or approximate this diagonal line. But if we add in these line segments right here, we know that this forms a right angle because the horizontal and vertical lines on a coordinate plane all intersect at right angles. So if I extend these out and form a right triangle, I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we can count units. So this is one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So now I have my legs of this right triangle are three units by four units, and we can use that and use that Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, to find our hypotenuse, which is what we're being asked to do. So now let's look at this on this one. This is what you would see as an instruction for a question. You might be asked to find the distance between the points 1, 2, so 1, 2, here's that ordered pair, and 5, 5, over 5, up 5. So this is what I showed you on the previous slide where we have a side length of 4 and a side length of 3, and these are the legs of the right triangle because it forms the right angle and we can use this to find the hypotenuse of our right triangle. So we're going to do 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9. Add 16 plus 9, you get 25. To solve for c, we're going to take the square root of each side, and the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of c squared is c. So we know that this diagonal length is 5 units. Now it's your turn. I would like you to plot these points, form a right triangle, and use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between the two points. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So we're going to plot our points, negative 3, 5, and then 4, 2. There's our line segment, so we are being asked to find the distance between these two points, or the length of this diagonal segment. We're going to turn this into a right triangle, so I'm going to extend out to the right and then up, noting that this forms a right angle because we're using the coordinate grid and these, this horizontal and vertical line intersect to form right angles. You could have gone up and over to the right and made your right angle here. You're going to get the same answer. So we're going to count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then here we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our legs of our right triangle that we formed with this hypotenuse are 7 and 7. So we're going to use our Pythagorean theorem. And then c squared is the side we're looking for. 7 squared plus 7 squared. So we have 49 plus 49, which is 98. Take the square root of both sides. And we're going to round to the nearest tenth. So the square root of 98 using your calculator, rounding to the nearest tenth is 9.9. .9. So the distance between these two points, or the length of this diagonal segment, is 9.9 .9 units. All right, here's one for you. You have a graph here. You have a scale shown telling you that one unit on the graph represents one mile. And I want you to find the distance from home to school. And if necessary, round to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to have you pause now and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So let's go ahead and form our right triangle. Again, you could have gone down and made your right triangle on this part. I did it up here. 
We have one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three. So our legs are three and six. Three squared plus six squared will equal our distance from home to school squared. Three squared is nine, six squared is 36. Add them together, we get 45. Take the square root of each side and the square root of 45 is 6.7. So the distance from home to school is 6.7 miles because each unit represents one mile. There you have it. That's how you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between any two points in the coordinate plane. So go ahead and use what you know, form right triangles, and find the hypotenuse. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.